Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Emily in here with us this afternoon. And Emily is from San Jose, California, and she's visiting us here in Houston this week. She's getting her adjustment here today. Now, she's been seen by other chiropractors before, two times a week, for six months, you said, I think. Yes. Right. Yep. And they didn't really even adjust you. They just put you on therapies and stuff, right? Correct. So she's actually going to get a real adjustment today. She comes in complaining some left shoulder pain, neck and upper back pain, numbness and tingling out into her arm and hands, uh, mid back and upper back pain, and low back pain, and left side sciatica. And she's also had asthma for how long now? My whole life. Your whole life. Okay, so let's have you stand and face the mirror like we did before. I've already done her orthopedic neurological exam, and she's 5x5 five five on strength and two plus two on her reflexes, up, upper and lower. She is a side sleeper. Let's have you flex your head forward and backward for me there, Emily. I can tell that just by looking at her posture. You can see she turns her head that way most of the time, like this. <laughs> and her pelvis has shifted to the left of center as well down here. You can't see yet, told you, it's just relax there. See, you have less room here, and you got a little bit of room here. So let's, we're going to get her first adjustment starting on the biophysics table today. So we'll go ahead and lay you on your tummy there, Emily. Okay. So see her right leg is a little shorter than her left leg. And then when I bring it up, it gets even and tightens up. So uh, she does have SI joint problems. You can see the left side of her pelvis is sticking up off the table more so than the right SI joint. And when doing the sacral deviation test, go ahead and lift your right leg up. There you go. Good. Now this one. Yep. The right one seemed more difficult, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. So she's got a right sacral deviation, but a left SI joint subluxation. So I'm going to start adjusting that first. You don't feel this. All you got to do is relax and breathe. You get the easy job. There we go. Now you notice I don't ever do that side posture adjustment on people because I feel like that creates ligamentous instability in the SI joints in the lumbosacral spine region. I know a lot of chiropractors do adjust like that, but I don't like it. I don't let chiropractors adjust me like that because it always hurts me even more. Especially if you have asymmetrical facets or spondylolisthesis or herniated disc. Just breathe normal for me. There you go. Yeah, see, I knew you'd be a crack addict's favorite. Yeah. That's a girl. Okay. You got a little scar tissue up there in your upper back. Now, see how our pelvis leveled out? That's all right. Legs are even. This should already feel a little easier this time, Emily, than the first mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So you're going to feel your head popping up a little bit here now. There. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. Yep, just like that. So I'm going to bring your head up and over your thoracic spine where it's supposed to be. I'll try not to smear your makeup too bad. There you go. Okay, now just slide down about half an inch. And put your arms straight out to the sides for me. Like that. Palms facing up. I'm going to adjust your shoulders now. So that shoulder pain you were having, I'm going to adjust the AC joint. Your clavicle, where it attaches to your sternum. And then your anterior costosternal joint. There, these might be a little sore at first. There you go. Fingertips. Yeah, that's because the nerves out of your lower neck go all the way into your shoulder, arm, and hands. And relax your hands on your tummy. There you go. Nope, let me have you. There you go. I won't pull you off the table. I haven't lost the patient on the floor yet. There you go. Good. Okay. Let's sit you up to face that way now. Sideways. There you go. When you get up, you always want to sit up sideways. See our heads already come up more? Okay, let me do it. I don't need help. <laughs> That's all right. You're fine. There we go. This is an adjustment. I can feel it. Oh, we're just getting started. <laughs> there we go. 
Yes, ma'am. It's okay to pop your fingers as long as you pull them straight out. If you jam them like that or traumatize them, that will cause arthritis. Let's go over here. That's the same with any joint in the body, by the way. I'm going to have you lay on your back with your pelvis right here. Head up this way, please. Now, this is your first ring dinger, right? Yeah. Okay, slide up just a little bit. You're not scared, are you? No. Okay, slide up a little bit more for me. Keep going, I'll tell you. Right there. Good. You might want to put your hands right there. How long have you been here in Houston? Uh, just since yesterday. Just since yesterday. So you get some nice weather today. Cool. I would say that way all weekend. We're moving this weekend. Her legs, Dr. Johnson. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, though. You're welcome. What's that? It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it is. This is a typical Houston March, February day. Okay, nice and easy. Breathe. Oh, Adderall. my gosh. Yep, that's the most oh common reaction gosh. we get is OMG. Felt that all the way down, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Good. Okay, keep breathing. I think I'm taller. Yes, you are. I got you. That's a girl. Oh, yeah. I told you I was just getting started. <laughs> now, you will be a little sore after that because I've torn some fibrotic adhesions and scar tissue loose down in around your lumbar joints. But it's kind of like a new workout type of yeah. Okay, so when you get up, turn sideways and push yourself up with your arm. Yep, just like that. And stand right here in front of the mirror for me again. Yes, ma'am. She is taller. <laughs> you weren't up to my, past my nose before. Okay, let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. Look at how much your extension improved already. No, I can feel it. Yep. Now back to neutral. So see, you're still a little forward and a little right. So pull, here's your homework right here. You're going to pull your shoulders up and back. Flare these here like this. <coughs> and your head's forward. So we want to bring it straight back in the Z-axis like this. See, look in the mirror. And then your little right on the X-axis. So we're going to translate left on the X-axis. And then rotate backwards on the X-axis. There. Okay, now wow. relax. I just suggested your atlas from the lateral side, the x-axis, <coughs> that sends a neurological proprioceptive bombardment of information into your cerebellum, which will retrain your body how to hold you in this position as opposed to the one you've adapted to. Wow, okay. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. Now that should have felt much smoother. Yeah. Did it? Mm -hmm. Take a look in the mirror now how squared off you are everywhere. Very different. Perfect. Yep. I have to sign you up for the Jirene's G.I. Jane <laughs> program. <laughs> so, Emily, this is your first adjustment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. So, how does this compare to what you've had done healthcare wise previously? Uh, night and day. This is amazing. Thank is it good? You. Yes. You feel better than when you walked in the door? Taller and better. There yes. you go. Well, thank you for sharing your experience with everyone. Thank you. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, with Emily this afternoon. We'll see you soon.